When building or renovating, there are generally three deciding factors concerning roofs. Aesthetics, durability, and of course, cost. These days, there are such a variety of shapes and materials for roofing available, all at different prices and sizes. It's hard to know what's best for your house. Choosing the right roof is an investment into the future of your house. In the short term, cheap materials may save you money, but in the long term, they may end up costing you a lot more. There are plenty of options available, many of which are cheaper than older, more traditional roofing materials. Concrete interlocking tiles are laid with a single lap. They're a very common and much cheaper choice and are relatively low maintenance and reasonably durable option. Similarly, cement fibre slates are a man-made product that have been designed to match the appearance of the natural traditional slate and also have a double lap. However, like the concrete tiles, after about 20 to 30 years, wear and tear can take its toll on these man-made materials and they can become brittle, cracked and warped or can be bleached and discoloured as a result of exposure to frost, solar heat and UV rays. Sheet metal roofs, such as copper and zinc, were very popular in 18th century domed classical buildings throughout Ireland and can still be seen today. Although metal roofing is an expensive option, it's still used today for curved barrel-shaped roofs and can be aesthetically attractive for the right building. Of all the various roofing materials available to us in Ireland today, my favourite is one that has been around for over a thousand years. And Georgian Dublin is a testament to its strength and its durability. Slate is a beautiful natural material that comes in many different shapes and colours. The most popular in Ireland is known as Bangor Blue Slate from Penryn Quarries in Wales, which was the slate of choice for most Georgian Dublin buildings. In addition to its aesthetic potential, the durability of natural slate is perfect for Irish buildings because of the stormy weather and heavy rainfall that frequently occurs. Unlike more modern, cheaper products, natural slate requires very little maintenance. It's highly impervious to water, so moss growth and staining is much less likely to happen. When laid properly, natural slate roofs can survive for at least 100 years before they even require maintenance. And Georgian Dublin has many slate roofs which are still intact 200 years after they were originally built. Although natural slate usually has a very long lifespan, it isn't uncommon to see slate coming loose from our historic roofs. And a lot of this damage can be attributed to the corrosive nail fixings that were used at the time. When fixing slates, copper nails should be used, but for extra fastening against extreme storms, stainless steel hooked clips like this are ideal. As flat slates don't interlock, they're double lapped and they need a good headlap to avoid wind-driven rain penetration. Headlap is the double overlap between rows of slates. In this very steep pitch roof, it only requires a 75 mm headlap. At a steep 70 degree pitch, a smaller side lap allows you to space the slates out, saving on the cost of this precious natural material. Pitched roofs form an integral part of Irish architecture and for hundreds of years quarries in North Wales and even some European countries have supplied Irish builders and architects with this beautiful natural material. Down through the centuries, Bangor Blue Slate has not only made a major contribution to Irish historical architecture, but has proved its durability and functionality as an effective modern roofing material for future Irish buildings.